We are back. Okay, everybody, uh, there will be no face cam this episode because our cat is carrying such a massive static electric charge that he brushed by my webcam and static <laughs> and power surged my USB port. We've been trying for 15 minutes to get the webcam back on and it did not work, so... He's like a real-life Pikachu. Yeah, he's, he's an electric-type Pokemon, so Detective Fluffers has decommissioned the face cam for the next couple episodes. Our most sincere apologies. But that's okay because we have made a lot of progress as of the last episode and now we can go do stuff. Uh, we finished by talking to Dylan. There's nothing new to say to him. Well, hello. Oh, we can ask this. What brought you to this site? This might be the next it spot. If it is, I want to have the first tour up and running. Isn't that a little premature? Tour groups might not even be allowed out here. Well, then I took a trip to the place I've always wanted to see. No loss. So is money just the sole focus here, Dylan? I mean, it probably is. This is his job. But still, there's, um... <laughs> He is very blasé about it. You seem very casual about everything. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? It makes me think you might be hiding something. If like I a jackal amulet. Then I'm doing such a good oh. job. Oh! I don't notice. I know you didn't just come here to get a tan. Hmm. Bye bye. I'll be seeing ya. When we do get the face cam fixed, Julian and I are going to be so much more tan, by the way, because the pool we work at just opened, <laughs> yeah. and I have lifeguarded thirty hours in the past three days. Yep, I have worked 36 hours Hello. in the past three days. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Uh, we can send her away, but I don't think that's important. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Throwback to about... We need to find the true tomb, Jameson. This is true. But throwback to about two to three episodes ago, we solved something important on the notes thing. Mm -hmm. And the ultimate result was blue cat opens tomb find the true tomb don't mind if i do so um i don't want a sequence break here but there might be a way i'm supposed to figure it out that i'm not using because i don't remember but that is the blue cat mm -hmm. that is being referred to cat, just like in jamila's notes well i'll be damned I need to clear this stuff away from it yeah i don't know why nancy can't just use her hands jamie it's sacred sand you don't use your Fine. hands let me that. just pull out the sacred brush real quick almost clear and all clear. It <gasps> looks like something is supposed to be placed here. The it, cat. The cat amulet. It's all connected. Ooh. There oh. There we go. God. Okay, if this was real life right now, I'm like, oh my. What the oh hell's happening? Can't let you go first. You never know what dangers lie beyond. Dude, this feels like a villain sequence. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many moments Blast. like that in this game. It's absolutely black as pitch in here. Black Pass as pitch, torch, ladies and gentlemen. No, mind. I've got something here. Oh, he found the light switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Ah! What did he think he was finding? Are you okay? Probably the lights. Just shifted a bit so you can get the pressure off. If I can remove some of the pressure, I may be able to buy you some time. Nah, the whole tomb just collapsed on this guy. He's dead. Okay, this is a this is a bad puzzle, isn't it? Um, uh, I don't know if it differs from Junior. I didn't think it was that difficult. We just gotta pick rocks until he's yeah. free, right? So let's, mean... let's try this one. Yes. If you keep doing things like that, I won't. Die. I don't if think I can that was a good one to pick. more of these rocks, you should be okay. Here, wait. All right. It's like Jenga, but I'm not sure how I... you... No, not like that. Not really? Like that. That's, that's wrong. Oh, you know what? Okay, observation I just made. Curses. This is not a this is not a puzzle like um uh there's a correct sequence to pick them in. Yeah, it's, I know. It's like Renata's bag. They all move with the same physics. So you actually do need to balance them. Yes. Well, can't I just you keep doing things like get the that ones in the middle? Die. Yeah. If well, I can remove yeah, but then that kind of screws rocks, us. I don't okay. think that's what we want to do, actually. Okay. Try that one. That one seems snug. Ah, yes. Then I feel like that should be snug too. No, I don't know. But it, it's four different rocks all connected. Okay. Yeah. Maybe this. That should be good. Yeah. Is it though? I don't think so. Oh, hold up. Wait, you're right. Because the centrifugal force, erm, um, I don't know. Um, I mean, this obviously, right? Doesn't that make sense? Give it a try. No, not like that. Not oh, like that. oh my God, there's I one at the very top. I didn't realize that. No. <laughs> so we can't mess with that. Mummy facts. Although mummies are most often associated with ancient Egypt, most ancient cultures practice this form of preservation. Mm -hmm. So many cultures can share the blame for many for any nightmares <laughs> you experience after playing this game. <laughs> I did not know that one actually. Okay. See, this game thought it was scary. Yes. If you keep doing things like that, I won't die! Okay. If I can remove five more of these rocks, you should be okay. Try to see if you can just zigzag them. 
I don't yeah. Know. Oh, that's it. That's better. Damn. Okay, so we okay. can't mess with these. You. It could be really risky, but maybe that one. Ah. Ooh. Yes. It's just one more. Probably that one. Then. I think two more. That's got to be one of them. Ah. Yes. Ah. <laughs> yes. Dude, like I don't know what it would be. Maybe this. I. It's got to be that. That's the only thing that wouldn't destroy it. That should hold. Oh, nice. thank Please God. Do. I'm going to find you some help. It's okay. Everything's fine. Ow. Never mind. <laughs> Everything's a problem. Call the hospital. Okay. Sh what yeah. hospital? The nearest hospital, it took Jameson. the rescue team a while to get through the collapse, but they finally got Dylan out. He looked pretty bad. <laughs> Imagine being like be on the okay. response team at the hospital sure and they're like, be. he's in yeah, this tomb. It's like it. 70 feet underground. That doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> we'll get a helicopter yeah. out there immediately. <laughs> you don't need to stay. I can make some calls to Kingston. We can get you out of there if you're worried. No, I'm fine. Think it over. I'm the one who should be there and I'm not. Uh, and as much as I care about keeping this site safe, it's not worth putting you in danger. I'll be fine, I promise. Okay. If you change your mind, call me immediately. Sounds about right. Um, I want to just note that that was not the curse at work. That was just Dylan being a dumbass. And yes, Dylan is gone for the rest of the game now. If we're lucky, we may be able to get him into a phone call. That's astonishing. Uh, this is a good opportunity to ask uh, good old John here some more of the questions that we were interested by. Would it be possible to trigger a cave-in like the one that injured Dylan? Yes, easily. I wouldn't recommend it. Too much of that and you'll bring down the whole tomb. Why do you ask? I got to thinking. I was on my way into that tomb first. Dylan pushed me out of the way at the last second. What if the collapse was intentional and I was the target? It's... It's possible. How could that be premeditated? I don't know. No one else had the blue cat to open the thing up. Yeah, I don't get that. But then again, we did have a green cat, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, let's talk about this. I opened the last coffin, but it was empty. I'm not surprised. I was. Does this mean we're too late? False tombs, no. Nancy. The entire tomb is a riddle. If the mummy was easy to find, then I'd start to worry we were at the wrong place. What a cool idea of just hiding dead mummified bodies with it's, like a shit ton yeah. of riddles. It's like a, a trick room. I wish that this is what actual ancient Egypt was like, but it probably isn't. Dylan mentioned that he was dropped off by a group of strange men who seemed to know their way to the site. Did he say that? The only people who know how to get <laughs> I don't to the recall that, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're bluffing. We're seeing what his reaction would be. Uh huh. So basically, it's supposed to be a confidential site. We don't know who those guys were. Uh. Dylan said guides often make their own credentials. Is that true? No. <laughs> oh, that lying liar. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Nancy, the best comeback she could think of. Caution. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, don't I shouldn't have saved him. Like there's no other choice but to make you disappear. Dylan wouldn't do that. Dylan couldn't do that. He's gone. Right that. When people feel like they can get away with anything, they change. That's a really foreboding way of. If that line's not in the trailer for this game, it should be. Yeah, that's ex uh, that's a good point. Abdullah it's a seems hard line. confused mm -hmm. by the hieroglyphs in the tomb. Really? You sound surprised. <laughs> Astonished, dumbfounded with a twist of smug thrown in to soothe my ego. So, if he's confused... Then it is confusing. He's one of the brightest minds in the field. If he's stumped, something unique is going on here. I really wish we got to see more John and Abdullah back and forth thing, because these guys, these were the two heads of the excavation. Yeah. I feel like it would be interesting if, at least for the first quarter of the game, John was a suspect, and then yeah. his injury went down. And that would have like... made it really interesting to have people whittled off one by one. John goes first, exactly. then Dylan. That'd yeah. be so cool. Be like would a Agatha Christie. It would cause a lot of tension earlier on in the game. Like, imagine, say, okay, not to drone on in the middle of this phone call, but imagine the first time we get into the tomb. It happens to John. Yeah, I could that see that. That would be so much better timing. That'd be freaky, yeah. Are you familiar with the Anunnaki? Oh, please. <laughs> Not you, too. No, Jamila. She's got a lot to say on the topic. Uh, good. 
Now, I'm not saying there isn't alien life, but why insist that aliens built the pyramids? Humans have made a mess of so many things. Just let us keep that check mark in the victory column. Also, now I'm thinking of it further. The you can keep the entire sandstorm sequence. It just should happen after you enter the tomb. Yeah. Like there's a disturbance. Like oh no, I think there's a sandstorm, guys. The sandstorm happens and then John gets knocked out. That Dude. would be so much better. Man, I don't know if these games will ever get a remaster, but I wouldn't be opposed. Lily seemed upset about me doing any work here. <laughs> Show me a PhD student who isn't upset about something, and I'll build you your very own pyramid. <laughs> Why would she want to keep me away from your work? I have no clue. If she wants to play at being in charge, let her. It'll save you a lot of headaches. And what do you know about Lily? Wrap with that. What do you know about Lily? Not much. She's with Abdullah's team. It's just strange that she's out there. Why? I never say a critical word about a student, but uh, the archaeology community is small, people talk. <laughs> I guess all I'm going to say is, it's surprising Adela put her on his team. Hmm. You can't just leave it Think at that. Think they're conniving? The curiosity Maybe. center of my brain is going to go into full meltdown. I can't, Nancy. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to talk about it. Uh-huh. Is that it? All right, Jonathan. I gotta get going. Talk to you later. If that even is your real name. You want to see something crazy that I learned this week about the pyramids that I didn't know? Hmm. Movies, like, Hollywood would have you believe that, like, the pyramids of Giza are, like, in the middle of nowhere, just this massive isolated desert. They're, like, right outside of Cairo. This is a real picture. Yeah, I And know. In, in every picture of the pyramids that's, like, on postcards and shit, they're f taking the picture from the north facing south or whatever so that it looks like it's completely desolate. But, like, you can walk probably 20 minutes from the pyramids and be at a 7-Eleven, which I think is crazy. <laughs> I don't know if they have 7-Elevens in Cairo. Yeah, yeah, they do. It's like a regular developed like, city. He has no... Nothing, nothing to, to say. say. I better get going. See you later. Although they probably don't call them 7-Elevens there. What is 7-Eleven in hieroglyphics? <laughs> they don't use hieroglyphics today. What? <laughs> this is this has broken my illusion. <laughs> Nancy, hi. <laughs> Uh, Everyone here seems to be hiding something. Like your boy Dylan. My you boy. My here? boy. This what do you mean, my boy sight. Dylan? Who wouldn't <laughs> want to be here? Please. The same could be said <laughs> of anyone. boy Dylan? Dylan has been lying to you. I'm usually pretty good at knowing when someone is telling the truth. I thought the same thing, but I was wrong too. Dylan knew that Abdullah was an active member of the Antiquities Black Market. He wanted oh. in. That doesn't oh. make sense. Oh my god. It does. Hefty allegation. He's getting a the bomb drop. The reason you couldn't tell he was lying is because he just wasn't telling you the whole truth. Why he don't you sound stupid like you used to? He tour guide. Just not in the obvious way. My gosh. You could and you tourists. With one of a kind antiquities, his business would triple overnight. Well, I am... I, I, I'm distraught. And how have you been sitting on this bombshell, Jamila? Yeah. I can't believe he'd do that. Never trust the cute ones. They mm. know what they can get away with. I'd better get going. Goodbye. He was a cutie. Well, hey, you know what? We can now take a look at what's beyond all that shit that fell down on top of Dylan. Yeah. Welcome oh, to wow, the new that... tomb. Oh my gosh, this is sick. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Wow, it is this frame. I love that. It's too dark. Oh, I see. I need to find something to light the way. I need to find really a way to light this lamp. <laughs> Dylan really thought he found a light switch. I need to find a way to light this entire room. Ooh. What are these? Those are mirrors. You have to figure oh, out where the place is. Oh, we have them. like a set amount of them, I see. Yeah. Oh, that that's an interesting twist on this puzzle. I don't think there's barriers on this when you play on Junior Detective. No, I don't think so either, so it's probably going to be extremely difficult. This can't even be moved. If you flip that... Oh man. I think I might see a way to do it. Wait, oh. Yeah, that's a good. I don't even think you need all the mirrors. Wait, but we can't end here. This, this whole thing is redundant. Just move that there. And then move that one somewhere else. We need it to be here, Jamie. Then put that there. Oh yeah. Flip it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we did it. Do we save a mirror? Like, 
Yeah. Oh, we didn't use one of them. Boom! Mm, Alright. Oh, this is a weird room with a weird puzzle. I, I can tell this ceiling looks important. Yeah. It looks like some birds are missing. Precisely one bird is missing, Nancy. And I'm trying to remember where you find it. Wow. Well, what do we got here? I need to figure out what the hieroglyphs say first. This is a weird puzzle, but I remember how to do it. Can we and, translate this or no? Uh, you want to back up and translate the thing down there. Oh, okay. Um, that's the the. There has to be the word tomb in here, right? <laughs> Probably. I'm trying to... What the hell is going on here? How about... On... Here we go. In the hall of... Uh. Something. I'll bet that's how it begins. Two? Maybe? No, this can't be two. T W O. Oh. Wait, what they shall. Thing? Pretty good at this, Jameson. I'm just thinking how an adjacent. They shall be. Think. Yeah, probably. They shall be. Only the one... This first letter here does not appear anywhere else, which means it's probably a very uncommon letter. X. Others. Truths. In the Hall of Two Truths... Unburdened. What a unique word. Murdered? No. Tooted? <laughs> Looted? Mooted? Cooted? Um. I'll bet that's a G, and it's gonna be. G oh, it's judged. It that's what judged. it is. Yeah, we're dumb. Oh, and that word was truths. Mm -hmm. Hall of two truths. Uh, I think that's Mutt. It's a god's name. Open the threshold. A threshold to a hidden area, perhaps? Oh, boy. Okay, so this is a riddle, and I think I know what it means. Let me just try to make sense of it. In the Hall of Two Truths, they shall be judged. Only the one found to be as light as the feather of Mott, unburdened as the others, shall open the threshold. So here's what it means. This, if it wasn't made clear, in fact, I'm just going to emphasize it because it's cool. This was a tomb. I bet I could translate that. In fact, maybe, maybe this will tell us right here. Do you know what tomb this was? Because it's a neat part of the story. Um, he flieth no. like a bird, he alighteth like a beetle upon the empty of throne in Ora. Not hath been found in his defect. This is a tomb for a cat. This was one of... Oh, yeah! Uh, this was, I believe, one of Nefertari's favorite cats. Ye shall fall down upon the earth and become animals upon the earth. Dude, that's so funny. Imagine all the peasants getting thrown in mass graves, and then <laughs> this beautiful room is for a cat. <laughs> to be said, I rise out of the egg in the land hidden. And if you look around the room, actually, these are cat toys. That Aww. Ancient Egyptian cat toys. That wow, were... preserved extremely well. A comb. I'm going to look at all these because there might be a trivia on them. No, oh, I can't see the other ones, but still. Yeah, what, you... this is the find of the century. Who cares about Nefertari? We just found know, we Nefertari's just found... cat. Exactly, that's cooler. This is the coffin can, can right you here. Can put the book down? Oh my god, there's the... My bad. That's the actual cat entombed, isn't it? Hmm. Mummified kitty. That looks pretty expensive. Yeah. So Wait, where have we seen that we can place that? Is that in the real tomb? It is in the real tomb. Yeah. Tag. But that's not the last thing we're going to be doing in here. Um... I need to this find puzzle. the one that weighs less. So, but per the riddle, we have to place one of these in the middle tomb and judge it by... And we have to... We need to find out which of these weighs the least. So... There's only one answer? Yes. One of these weighs less than the but others. They, they weigh the same? So just do it one at a time. No, don't, don't do two different ones. You're right. Oh, we get a set amount of tries. 
Yeah. So these first three all weigh the same. How about this one? Well, they all weigh the same. Well, um, I'm scared of what happens if I try again. So... Wait, click that. That's a reset. Hang on, did that change the weights of them all? It oh. did. Ooh, it did, yeah, but this one weighs less. Does that mean this is the correct one? Oh, wow, that was simple. That was pretty lucky. If you fail that puzzle, the room actually collapses on you and you die. <laughs> hey, look at this. It's more pages from the Doomed Expedition. <laughs> I want to read those, actually. Or yeah. maybe Nefertari wrote them, Jamie, in English. That's true. It very well might be. She was a very learned pharaoh, <laughs> if memory serves me right. Uh, okay, yeah, so it's the first three pages. December 8th. These last ten years since my search began, I followed every lead, only to find myself lost again and again. All hope of finding the lost queen vanished, only searing sand at my feet. I owe it to my mother's memory to find her soon. I owe it to my daughter and my husband to return home alive. I'm worried that I will be disappointing them all. To my daughter and my husband. Huh. This was this a, really sad. a lady on the expedition. That seems like it was probably would have been a strange career path for, what was this, 1920s? December 16th, this morning, just as I was stealing myself for another fruitless day of searching, we spotted something curious jutting out of the sand. A quick glance and we knew that there was nothing natural about the formation. This was a tomb. We set to work immediately, bloody knuckles and aching backs unnoticed and untended in the excitement. By mid-morning, we had broken through the sealed entrance. Big mistake. Rookie mistake right there. <laughs> uh, the largest guide pushed past Sudi to be the first to enter the tomb. He was a fool to blunder in as he did. There is no doubt, not doubt of that. He's the Dylan of the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poor Sudi. Still, he did not deserve to die for that foolishness. I did not hear him call out. I hope for his sake he wasn't alive long enough to try. Yeah. December 20th, we're huddled in the dark. The winds howl outside since we've opened These noises are kind of creepy in the yeah, background. What are these noises? I don't know. The desert has become even less forgiving than usual. Violent sandstorms rise from nowhere, forcing us into the darkness of the tomb. The men have been mumbling to each other of curses. Fair enough. Already we've lost one member of our team and most of our gear. I cannot waste what little lamp oil, lamp oil we have uh, now to write for long. Gosh, what a terrible feeling. December 23rd, I know the queen is here. This morning, the storms died and we were able to clear an opening large enough to let the light in. Dusted beams of the sun shattered through the turgid darkness of the tomb for the first time in the thousands of years. The color of the tomb, it was just like you said it would be. Oh, I wonder who these letters were too. Now it's in the second person. Brilliant white walls studded with gods, their faces bright as gems. I cannot believe that this has been unknown since the time of Ramses II. She misspelled Ramses, L. Uh, <laughs> Rameses. Uh, at least I hope it was he who built this tomb. I hope to be relieved of this burden of the D O N soon. Oh, the D O N. Spoilers, but I'm not going to talk about what that means. I just made a connection that I've never made before. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what was that book? What was that thing there? Oh, you're right. We did pick something else up. No, it was in there. You're right. Meskinet. It must be the cat's name. Meskinet. What a cute name. I'll name my next cat Meskinet. Now, the name of that cat is actually important, but I won't get into why yet, because it's, again, a spoiler. Do-do-do-do-do. 